Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told I had a voice radio, so today, I am showing you Gardevoir, Mega Gardevoir, in fact. Now, this video was cut from my stream that I did recently over at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. I show you the deck list. We have some games. It's a lot of fun. So sit back, grab yourselves a nice cold beverage, and enjoy. Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, depending on what time zone you're in, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, but today, we're not radioing. We're live streaming, ladies and gentlemen, and I, for one... I'm thoroughly excited, and I believe we have actually gone live, and that is a very, very good thing. Now, we are starting off with a Gardevoir deck list today, and now this is a list that got top 20, or day 2 at least. It's a list that got day 2 over in um, the US at the North American International Championships, and... I like the list. Now, there's a few things I'm a little bit unsure of. Obviously, it's all revolving around Mega Gardevoir and that Despair Ray attack. There are a couple of things I'm a little bit unsure about. I'm a bit scared. Ah, we have a new follower. Hello, sir. I am a little bit scared about the... What am I looking at? Sorry, one field blower scares me a little bit. I'm slightly worried about Garbador here. Lots of one-off supporters, but of course we've got Tapu Lele, and we can reuse Tapu Lele with Dragonite, and we can reuse Dragonite with Rescue Stretcher, so all the one-off supporters actually make sense in this deck. Um, I'm also slightly worried that, that we can only play four Spirit Link, but I suppose that's kind of our own fault. Ooh, I don't love the pseudo woodoo start, um, but I am playing some switches here, so it could be worse. And I suppose, if nothing else, it stops my opponent having things on their bench. Now, it does look like a Garbador Trubbish, which, to be honest, is probably to be expected here. I would like to search for a supporter card. And hello, yay, Harry. Uh, now, the, about the only card this deck isn't playing is Bridget. I'm going to be honest, I quite like a Bridget right now, but I'll settle for an N. Now, Spirit Links. Hello, Flaming Absol. So, we can afford to get rid of a Mallow, and we're going to have to get rid of a Versus Seeker here, just because I really don't want to get rid of my Spirit Links. Hello, Necro Terror. Because one of the things that you end up doing in this deck is discarding Gardevoir off your bench to stop your opponent taking prizes. Now, the one thing I do have to be careful of here is that I don't play too many item cards. But unfortunately, Spirit Links here are just too gosh darned important. I'm just really hoping my opponent doesn't have a Field Blower for next turn. So... We can use Oracorio to get some energy here. That's going to be quite important. Um, I would like to search for a basic energy card, you know. I'd like to get a couple of Fairy. Now, you notice there's one Psychic Energy there. That's just for if we want to use Tapu Cure later on. And greetings Australia. Was that Australian? Hello, Kizzy is amazing. It's very nice to see you on the stream today. So... I'm going to be honest, I really like, and the best part is, my opponent can't use that um, Skyfield because I've got Sudo Wudu out. So I'm a little bit excited here, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a very nice hand. I've got the Mega. I've got the Energy. I don't have a way to switch yet, but what I can actually do is potentially use Tapu Lele to search for a... Um, I can actually use Tapu Lele here to search for a... What am I looking for? A Skylar and find a switch that way. Why would I want to bridge it? Honestly, I would just go and get like three Gardevoirs on the bench. That's what I would have done with a Bridget last turn. Morning from Philadelphia. I'm assuming it's Philadelphia, PA. Hello, Gemma. What's the point? Oh, okay. I thought my opponent was playing a Lysander there. Hello, Gemma. How are you? I'm always a little bit nervous when someone says my girlfriend loves you. I feel like a fight is coming on. And I don't want to fight you lovely people. Hello, Goomy Girl 521 It's been pretty much a constant stream of new followers so far today. And that is making me delighted. Now, the only downside is I'm going to have to use a switching card here. Which means... 
Ugh. I am unfortunately. I'm just using. I'm using too many items. I don't want to use items. No, it's not the end of the world. Actually, let's just check. I've got a switching card in here. Uh, yeah, we've got a switch there. We're okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world if we have to use these switching cards, but it's still a bit of a pain. And you know my opponent is going to use an Espeon to try and confuse me later on, and that's going to be very, very upsetting. Oh, I can't get free Guard of War with Bridget. I'll tell you what, I haven't actually played a... I haven't played an EX deck for so long. It's been ages since I've played an EX deck. So I'm used to just being able to grab free GXs. Hello, Moon Smell, good. Now, I do kind of want to play an Ultra Ball, but I've already used free items. I really don't want to play any more. So all we're going to do here is we are going to Despair Ray. Um, we're not going to... Dis Actually, yes, we are going to discard a couple of Bench. We're going to discard Oracorio. And to be honest, we're going to discard Sudo Wudu as well. So now, anything that my opponent chooses to drag up with a Lysander has got a retreat cost of one, and I'm okay with that. So I do really, really want another Gardevoir for next turn. Um, I'm playing random people at the moment. Viewer battles. We started viewer battles on Thursday. Viewer battles went down very well. So I'm looking to do a few more of them today. Hello, Rutgers 1604. Now, I am also fully aware, ladies and gentlemen, that there are way too many people uh, coming and following me at the moment. The followings are becoming thick and fast. I'm delighted, but it means I'm not able to actually get to all of you. Now, the... Oh, my... No. I probably... No. See, the problem is, confusion really, really sucks in this deck. And I'm worried I'm going to have to... I'm worried I'm going to have to fall for the confusion. Because the other thing is that Gardevoir is just a fairy type, not a psychic. So I'm not going to be able to hit for weakness. Now, there is, of course, a possibility my opponent doesn't hit their Espeon here. But if they do, I'm really hoping they don't go for Confusion. If they don't go for Confusion, I've got the KO. But I'm just worried that they will. Hello, Bennett's name 15. Okay, so it looks like that was a Psychic Energy, so they can go and get the Espeon here. Now, they can hit me for quite a bit. of. They can hit me for 120 with Psychic. That's not what they should be doing. And I really need another Guard of War down. And then, of course, I can flip a coin. Heads, I get the KO. Oh, now there goes the ability lock. And this is why I want more than one field blower. Because at the moment, I don't actually have very much at all here. Oh, no, I know that I know that the Mega is Psychic and Fairy. I mean the regular. I would like to attack with a regular if need be. But it's not hitting for weakness. So, I mean... I, re I really don't like playing one field blower in this deck, ladies and gentlemen. I'd really like more. Hello, Mogaman3792. And welcome me, Ante. Okay, that is exactly what my opponent should have done. So good for them. Now, I don't have very much, to be perfectly honest, ladies and gentlemen, here. Um, I could just flip a coin on Confusion. Heads, I get the KO. That would be nice. Um, and to be honest, I'm going to have to get rid of those two for the moment. And I can't even go and get a Shame in because I'm ability locked. So Hooper would be lovely here. Shame in would be lovely here. Uh, I can't use any of them. Now... There isn't really much I can do with regular guard of wine. In fact, there's nothing I can do at the moment. So, we are going to have to try a despair, eh? It's a heads! Um, and we might as well. Now, how much are we actually doing? I mean, when okay, we're going to get rid of the Lele here, just in case we can Dragonite it if we get a field blower later on. Um, not loving the weakness, going to be honest, ladies and gentlemen. But a supporter here would be amazing. And will do. And will do. It's not perfect. Yeah, sometimes you just have to risk it and flip. You're absolutely right. If you Google my name, 
You will find a t-shirt my friend Derek made on Redbubble. Risk it on a biscuit. Which is very much how I play the Pokemon trading card game. I was watching the, um... I was watching the official US live stream last weekend, and Kyle Sukovich, and we all know how good he is at the game and, and how his mind works, he was saying about confusion and how people don't risk it. I found, since I've started streaming at least, and you can go back through the streams and check, I tend to risk it on confusion flips far more than I probably should. But I'm okay with this. Come on, end me, 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 end me. Or Lysander. I mean, he's almost certainly going to play a Sycamore here. Because that would be by far the best thing. And I, I think a lot of the time, going for the confusion flip is the right thing to do. Because even if I'd flip Tails there, I mean, I, I had no other... Yeah, that was a Sycamore. I had no other attack ready to go. Welcome, Lino Rayner. I had no other attack ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. There was nothing I could do if I retreated. And to be perfectly honest, I quite liked what I had. Isn't there a story about you losing a game on a coin flip? Oh yeah, I've lost so many games on coin flips. The one you're probably thinking of was there was a game at, it was a regional champ it was Cornwall Regionals last last season. And uh oh, Okay, yeah, he's getting another item in the discard at least. And at Cornwall Regionals, I was playing a Regirock deck. And it was a very much a rogue deck. And in the Regirock deck, I was... It went down to time, and it was literally like 20 minutes beyond turn plus three. It was quite ridiculous. And then it all came down to a coin flip. After time, plus three turns, plus 20 minutes, it all came down to a coin flip, and I lost. And it was very upsetting. Okay, so we don't have all that much. I mean, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I know we're going for items here, but we've got a lead of... We've got, we're in the lead here, so we don't mind going so much for items. I don't really want to shame in for two, but I can despair Ray it away, so it's not the end of the world. I want a switch. That would be amazing. Oh, what can I even get with Rescue Stretcher? I can get a bunch of... I can get a Dragonite to get some bench Pokemon, but that's not going to do me all that much good. Because I've already played my item. I've already played my supporter for the turn. However, let's do it. Let's play Rescue Stretcher. Uh, let's get a Pokemon from Discard Pile into the hand. I mean, this is one of the amazing things about Rescue Stretcher in this deck. Because you can Rescue Stretcher for a Dragonite. And then you can use Dragonite to go and grab a whole bunch of other Pokemon. Let's grab an Oracorio. So we can get some energy. And let's grab a pseudo... Ah, oh, I can only grab two. Um, to be honest, they're still the two I want. I want to be able to get energy next turn. Now, what I can actually do this turn... And this is a wonderful... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I shouldn't have attached the energy. I could have used Tapu Cure then. Just by attaching an energy to Tapu Lele. But I didn't. It's my own silly fault. So it looks like we're going to have to flip again. Even if we flip tails, my opponent's going to have to attack to KO me, and I'm fine with that. Come on, heads! Boom! Two heads in a row! Oh, my goodness. Oh, let's get rid of Shaman, because he's a liability. And let's get rid of Dragonite, because we don't need him anymore. Oh, my opponent can't be happy right now. Now... My opponent presumably is going to be trying to end me at this stage. Um, but I've still got Shaman. I've still got Tapu Lele. This is not a bad position to be in, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and to be honest, if I can get a Spirit Link and a Mega next turn, I've basically won the game. Now, how much is my opponent actually hitting with, with Guard of what? Guard of Dawn now. He's got one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. So my opponent's hitting 160. So with a choice band, he is hitting 190. But I do remember you, Super Samuro Kip. You've been on a bunch of my streams so far. It's nice to see a friendly face. Um, 11.15pm in Australia. Hello, Forbon. 
I like you. You're one of my Patreon followers and Patreon supporters like podcast listeners are up there with my favorite if anyone wants to get in on the patreon it's patreon.com slash ptcg radio if they don't have yeah there we go it had to be an end there but to be honest i've got so many outs rescue stretcher would be an out um i've got a bunch of supporters i've got lele i've got shaman oh lice i don't mind lysander right now Lysander's not a terrible one. I mean, to be honest, Link Blast at this stage is going to do 100. Oh, that's not going to do enough. And all my opponent can do is Acid Spray. So we have got Coin Flip for the win here. Actually, we don't even need to flip a coin. Because we can now Luminous Blade, so we can attach an energy to my Benched Garbador. Oh, my Bench, sorry, Guard of War. We can Retreat... And then we can use Luminous Blade for a quite convincing 6-0 win. Very nice. 3-15 in Germany. 9-15 in New Jersey. 8-15 in, I'm going to go ahead and guess that's Minnesota. 8-15 in Kansas City, Missouri. 9-17 in Florida. So we've got a bunch of American folks watching. I don't have cookies, but I do have M&M's. My dream sponsorship team here is M&M's and Pepsi. Standard, eight tickets, should be starting any minute now. So let's go for that and see if we can win a tournament with Gardevoir. So we are starting a tournament here. We are starting a tournament with Gardevoir and we will see how we do. I like tournaments. I like the booster packs. I don't like that sometimes... We have time in between games. That makes me a little bit sad. But hey-ho. First PC CD radio stream that didn't crash. Ooh, that's not a great opening hand. But then again, we can Skylar for an Ultra Ball for a um, Hooper. So it's really not the end of the world here, ladies and gentlemen. Unless my opponent started Wobbuffet. Which they haven't. Oh, we get the Ultra Ball anyway. So. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to get rid of something we don't want to get rid of here. And I'm also terrified of Field Blower here. Because I've got one Hooper prize, but I've still got one. I am slightly worried here that if I put both my Spirit Links down, then my opponent can just... um. My opponent can just then go ahead and take advantage of that and just get rid of both of them with a field blower, which would suck. So, let's go and get them for the time being. We have still got a potentially a Skylar we can use. So, we're going to bench both of them. Uh, we are going to take the risk of attaching an energy to one, hoping that my opponent can't do very much. And then we're going to shame in for four. This, I mean, this should be a good matchup. One of the reasons Guard of War initially got quite popular was as a counter to these Dark Ride decks, because of course you've got high HP and you've got resistance. Ooh! And I've already used a Rescue Stretcher. This could, if my opponent plays a field blower, this is going to be a very painful sycamore. But then again, I'm supposed to be stopping the stream about on the hour anyway, so maybe it's worth it. Ah, now, now this is better. Now we can play a Professor Kakui, and my opponent might think that's the only supporter I had. Now we've got the switch and the sky field as well. So now we're feeling pretty good. So... Let's just hope my opponent doesn't field blower N. Teresa Rowan's next stream. Oh, he's playing a Tiano. Okay, so it's not the most competitive Dark Ride deck. This should be quite a good game. Um, okay, we might even be able to win this turn, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see how much we can do. We can switch over there into Gardevoir. We can then Mega Revolve the Guard of War. Now, I'd quite like at this stage to be able to play a Kukui, but we don't have the second energy, so we're going to Sycamore and see what we can do. Our next stream is going to be Tuesday at 8 p.m. and 8 p.m. UK time. And Tuesday at 8 p.m., we are going to be. Oh, we're 10 damage short. We are 10 damage short. We're in 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So there's no point doing it. 
Ah, how upsetting. Let's despair rain. Just get rid of a couple of shaman. Hit for 130. How upsetting. Our next stream is going to be Tuesday at 8 p.m. That's going to be a Mario Kart stream. Maybe with some Pokemon Tournament, we will see how Pokemon Tournament goes. Um, see if how confident I'm feeling about it. But Tuesday, 8 p.m., there is going to be one. It's going to be glorious. Now, the other uh, next PTCGO stream is going to be Thursday at 8 p.m. Oh, yeah, my opponent resists me as well. I don't really care, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we're doing all right, ladies and gentlemen. So let's start getting another one of these built up. Let's use a Tapu Lele, and then we can search for a supporter card. And as there's nothing really in our hand we need... Oh, uh, that's rubbish. I was going to go for a Sycamore. We'll go for an N instead. Um, I was kind of hoping to get an energy in the discard so we could Mega Turbo, but hey-ho. Yeah, I keep, I keep remembering that Mega Gardevoir resists Stark. I keep forgetting that most Stark resist Mega Gardevoir. <laughs> Uh, but it's easily done, ladies and gentlemen. It's easily done. Let's start building up the bench a little bit. Let's play Dragonite, and then we can grab a couple of Shaman from the discard while we're all ready to do so. Now, it's going to be quite an ask to KO that Umbreon. That Umbreon's got a lot of HP. So here we're going to be hitting for 90 if we don't discard any. I am okay with that. And then... So... In theory, we should be able to... Now, if I play Professor Kukui, Kukui and Resistance will... Um, now, he is resistant, isn't he? They will basically even out. And unfortunately, the most I can do here is 190. So, no, I cannot get a KO with Mega Gardevoir. Not a one-hit KO anyway. And we're still feeling pretty good. Should we go back to variable resistance and weakness? Honestly, no. And the reason is... Ha! Dark cool. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so he gets both the energy off the active. Now, it's not actually a particularly bad thing. What we're going to do is energy onto the bench. We're going to switch to the bench one. Then we're going to use a mega turbo to get one of those energy back. So that's quite nice. We can then bench a Gardevoir with a Spirit Link. And you want to see something really cool. What we can do here is we can Mallow to put any two cards at the top of our deck. And... Oh, see, the problem is there isn't really anything I want. I'm, I'm kind of completely set up. <laughs> but let's grab an energy for next turn. And, um... Uh, I don't know. Let's grab a... There's, there's literally nothing I want. I just feel good. Let's grab a Versus Seeker so we can grab them. And then, of course, we can then shame in and we draw into both those cards from Mallow. So Mallow becomes essentially search your deck for any two cards. So that's quite nice. So, feeling pretty good about this now the downside is i cannot get the ko so we don't need to go too deep i want to save six on the bench for if my opponent ever um puts that eveltal up so we got a rescue stretcher let's get rid of a dragonite as well and then let's get rid of a lele so we can rescue stretcher a lele so there's 120, and it also means that if I don't discard any, I'll be getting a KO on the following turn. The other thing, of course, is if, if you have variable weakness and resistance, then that means that it's more confusing for kids, and kids are a large part of the audience, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to take this moment to do a shameless plug. Do consider, ladies and gentlemen... Uh, supporting the pod, the stream, etc. at patreon.com slash ptcgradio. There's several tiers. I think there's 2, 5, 10, all the way up to 50. It all helps out. Essentially, the more support I get from things like YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, etc., the more time and energy and money I can put into doing these kind of streams. If there are any rewards that would make you support on Patreon that I'm not currently offering, then... 
please do let me know in the chat and I will consider offering them in the future. But essentially, like I said, quite early on at the beginning of the stream, it's really a free pong. It's a it's a free pronged attack. It's a combination of um, Twitch, YouTube, and Patreon. And between the three of them, I'm trying to make it so that I can spend more time and effort on doing streaming and making videos, and less on doing other stuff. People have been asking about Twitch partnership. I'm literally you have to apply for. Twitch partnership. So, what I'm going to do is... What I'm going to do is I'm going to send him an email later on today. Because we've actually hit a whole bunch of milestones lately. And, yeah, let's just spare Ray for the KO. We don't need to discard anything. We've hit a bunch of milestones. YouTube's hit 20,000 subscribers. Uh, Twitter's hit two and a half thousand followers. Um, Twitch, I mean, Twitch, to be honest, it hit 500, then 600. At the moment, it's coming up to 700. So I'm going to email Twitch today. Uh, the link is patreon.com slash ptcgradio. Let's see if I can pop that in the chat quickly. So you all have a, so you all have a link. Ah. Alrighty then. Sorry, I go quiet when I'm typing. Nope. My keyboard's broken. The T's the T doesn't work properly. There we go. There's the link. So um uh, oh and now we can actually just get a nice big KO. Almost clicked done by mistake. So can we have a Professor Kakui maybe? Yeah. So let's just do huge damage on the last turn to take the last couple of prizes. Um, please don't be put off. I have to mention the Patreon. But to be completely clear, ladies and gentlemen, even if you never support on the Patreon, I'm still going to stream. I'm still going to make videos. I'm still going to do weekly podcasts. They're on iTunes if you want to get involved in them. So it's all going to carry on. It's just the volume and the time and energy I can put into them is going to be greater the more I can expand PTCG Radio. So, putting it out there. Very nice. Whoop, whoop. We won. We've done a win. So, let's see if we can carry on through the tournament and hopefully the rest of the tournament is finished. So, where are we? Who are we playing against? YY1492. Use a card. I want to use a card blocker. No. Getting into TCG after the world reset. Build something like Gardevoir or Galissapod, because that's in the newer set and is most likely to be good for the longest period of time. Okay, this is really bad, ladies and gentlemen. This is really bad. We have nothing. We have absolutely nothing. Ooh, Bulu. Favourite starter, I will have you know that the correct term is first partner Pokemon. And, well, you're actually going to see this in my, uh, you're going to see this in my video. As soon as the stream ends, I'm going to upload my top 20 Pokemon video. But I'll give you a little bit of a preview. The number one first partner Pokemon, Empoleon. I am so, so hyped for Empoleon in Pokemon Tournament. What I'm going to do over the next couple of months... Oh, that's actually really bad against my deck. That's so bad. <laughs> I'm going to need to get rid of that. Um, yeah, I, 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 in this short term, I'm going to really be focusing on playing around with Pokemon like... Um, uh, oh, and then, sweet. Okay, we can live with this. We can work with this, hopefully. Um... Now, I know I'm really just helping my opponent there, but at some point I'm going to have to play a Hex Maniac, so it's really not the end of the world. And at some point I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to KO that dude. Now, I've got to remember I'm limited to four bench spots here. But actually, this really isn't that bad, except I'm going to need a switch next turn. So, must remember that these three EX are all I can have. So, let's go. Shaman and two Gardevoir. So over the next couple of over the next few weeks, month or so, I am going to be really hammering on Gardevoir, 
going to play some chandelier and I'm going to play around a little bit, I think, with um, what to call them. I'm going to play around a little bit with chandelier and Suicune, but it's really going to be Gardevoir mostly. As soon as that game drops on... As soon as that game drops on uh, Switch, it is all Empoleon all the time. Is there a base that I like more than a Stage 1 or Stage 2? Yeah, Poplio. All day long, Poplio, ladies and gentlemen. It really ups... Ah, oh, sweet. I needed an energy. And I got the energy. That was very, very nice. Oh, I could have had my own Sudowoodoo to screw over my opponent. Um, yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan of Poplio. I really don't like Primarina. If you go back, I, in Polion Dark Explorers, I, I guess... No! Da! I was worried about that, but I had to take the risk. I didn't have to take the risk. Because now I don't even have a bench spot to play something like a Shaman. Now, what I might do here, seeing as this is Lorantis Bulu and it's a little bit slower, I might... I'm allowed to play Skyfield. It just doesn't do anything for me at the moment. Um, well, I, I might go a little bit slower here and just give up my turn to Mega Revolve. Because what I really don't want to do here is leave myself without any kind of evolution. Right, I just need to text my wife quickly because she's she's finishing work. Now, the downside is, if this tournament doesn't finish soon, this is an N. Yeah, it's not terrible. Um, yeah. Come on, Spirit Link, Spirit Link, Spirit Link, Spirit Link, Spirit Link. Rescue Stretcher, not what I wanted. Um, right, so. We're going to switch to that, because my opponent ain't getting a KO next turn. It's just not happening. Um... This is the thing about Lorantis Bully. You just don't get the big attacks going fast enough. So, uh, I'd, like, I'd like to get a Mega here, but I cannot afford to do it. Because if we hit, I'll tell you what we are going to do, you know. We're going to Ultra Ball, because we might as well Ultra Ball. And we're going to see if there's a Pokemon we can just grab and get in the discard. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's pop a Dragonite in the discard. So that we can rescue Stretcher it later. Now the other downside is, of course, that while my opponent's got that Sudo Woodoo out, and I am going to be trying to Lysander and KO it at some point, while my opponent's got that Sudo Woodoo out, it means I'm essentially limited to 150. Oh my goodness, what a draw! That was lovely. We got everything we needed. Now the downside is. We're not getting a one-hit KO here. So what I'm not going to do is go crazy because my opponent can just use um, Bulu's EX attack at some point. But what we're going to do is we're going to Despair Ray. And we're going to get rid of the Shaman and the Hooper. I tell you what, let's just get rid of all of them. We can Brox and everything later on. It's not quite the damage we wanted to do. Um... I would like to have hit for 150 so we could Sky Return later in the game. But it's not, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Wassy Rage compilation video. Oh, I would love that. Somebody please make a Wassy Rage compilation video. That would be amazing. I would watch that, ladies and gentlemen. I would watch that all day long. Now. Ooh, N. I can live with this. I don't really need anything right now. What is my wife's name? Um, I don't know if she particularly wants to keep it under wraps. It's just she doesn't... I don't know. She's not really... A, a, right, where does he put the energy? If he puts it on Bulu, I'm Lysander in the Bulu. Oh, he had no energy in the discard. So all he can hit for next turn is 120... 50... Uh, 50... 70 max. It's possible he could get a KO next turn. I don't think it's likely he gets a KO... Ah, see, that's... I could have got the KO with... L no, I haven't got energy. If, if he gets a non-GX Lorantis and a Choice Band, he will be getting a KO with Solar Blade next turn. I don't know whether to just get the KO here or not. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to take this game a little bit slower. 
Yes, what we're going to do, let's go grab a Skylar. Assuming we've got a Skylar, of course. Wait a second. Let's not grab a Skylar. Let's grab a Mallow. Because what we can do here is we can use Mallow. Yeah, but that Bulu needs free energy to do anything good. It doesn't look like he's playing Max Elixir in this deck. So next turn, he's only having one energy. So I don't really care this turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the Mallow. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab a... Oh, you silly idiot. Really, really should have played... Really should have played the Ultra Ball first. That was a silly mistake on my part. The Mallow play was a good play. The Mallow play was absolutely the right thing to do. But I messed up, ladies and gentlemen. That was a very silly thing. So we're going to grab a Guard of War Spirit Link. And do we have any energy in the discard to Mega Turbo? We don't. So let's grab an energy as well. Now the good news is we are going to be drawing two cards off this Shaman, but we now can't play the Ultra Ball. Having said that, not the end of the world. Because now, of course, we can... Actually, to be honest, I quite like not... No, I that might actually have been the optimal play. Because now I can Ultra Ball both of these energy. And grab myself the Mega. And now I can Mega Turbo as well. Although I'm not going to actually have enough cards in hand to use that Ultra Ball. But a lot of the time, my opponent is probably going to think, ah ha I'm going to end him. Unless my opponent's watching the stream, in which case my opponent is very much not going to think that. So, here we're looking pretty good. We're going to be doing 110. We don't need to put Pokemon in the discard right now. Oh, no, yes, yes we do. Because... My opponent can heal using the second attack. So now we're going to hit for 130. Now if they heal 30 with Solar Blade, we can just do 130 next turn. Okay, so if they've got a choice ban, they've got the KO here. And that's, although that's still not the end of the world, because then I get a KO. The only thing that's really starting to worry me now is... If my opponent gets a KO on this Gardevoir, while putting two energy onto the bench Tapu Bulu, which they don't have at the moment... Okay, we're good, we're good. So my opponent does get the KO, but there's only one energy on the Bulu, which means the Bulu isn't doing enough damage, which means we're absolutely fine. My opponent not getting a KO next turn, so we can just Despair Ray for the KO, take two prizes... And then we've got that Bulu that is ready to be KO'd next turn. But what we really need is to start building up another Gardevoir. That is absolutely crucial. Now, if I've got a Dragonite in my deck, Ultra Ball for Dragonite would be really good next turn. That would be lovely. I make it a point to not end unless I have to. It depends on what your opponent's hand is. I mean... A lot of people steadfastly will not end. Uh, a lot of people just won't end, ever. Will not, refuse to end if their opponent doesn't play a supporter. I had a game like that once, and this is the one I always go for. Is It's actually going to be Ultra Ball Dragonite for a Gardevoir, because I've got a Shaman in hand. And my opponent had nothing. So I kept just playing an, uh, playing Sycamore, playing Sycamore, playing Sycamore. Problem was, my opponent then drew into an end, end me down to two cards. I discarded so many resources that it was basically nothing I could do. And that was very upsetting. So, it's my turn here. And okay. Anyone want to hazard a quick guess as to what supporter I might be playing this turn? So, this is going to work out very nicely. Now, I do need to remember that I can only have a bench of four. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a Dragonite. And we're going to use the ability of the Dragonite. And we are going to grab a Shaman and a Gardevoir. Because there isn't really anything else we need. I'd like a second Gardevoir, but we don't have one. So this is just going to allow us to dig further and further into our deck. 
Down goes the Gardevoir. Now, we might as well play the Lysander because we're definitely going to do it. And this is going to knock all of my opponent's energy off the field. So this is going to be a very good thing for us. Now we can play a Shaman. And draw two. We got six cards in our hand. And how are we going to do? Okay, we needed the energy. So that's really nice. Um, and we might as well play another Shaman. Grab another two cards here. I do. Because what we really want next turn is maybe someone like a Hex Maniac. Now, we don't have one in the discard yet. Now, we have the Spirit Link. That's good. Um, argument, I shouldn't play that because of Field Blower. I don't really care, to be perfectly honest. And we're going to Despair Ray. And we're just going to get rid of one Shaman just to clear a bit of space on our bench. Plenty of damage there, and at this stage I feel supremely confident I'm going to win the game. What I really need is just a Mega Gardevoir Energy. If I hit both those cards, and I've got two prizes to take, and I've got two Mega Gardevoir with which to take them, and at that stage I'm feeling extremely confident in winning this game. So, how many Spirit Link have I used? Two, Ugh, all of them. So a Field Blower here would be pretty... Pretty sucky. But to be honest, my opponent doesn't have... Ugh. That's not a great hand. Okay. So, nothing I really want to do here. So, all I'm going to do is just use Despair Ray for... Now, I'm going to do 110 here. Because if my opponent heals down to 80, we can then do 140. And that will be enough to get the KO. Hello, Mark the Guy. Bye, BFW Pikachu. Uh, just pulled Full Art Lima and Rainbow Rare Lapras. Very nice. Believe in Bulu? No. No. I don't believe in Bulu. We're not watching this stream to cheer for Bulu. It's rubbish. Cheer for Bulu. No one's cheering for Bulu. Okay. <laughs> Let me rephrase. I'm not cheering for Bulu. Nor will I ever. Alrighty then. I do like streaming. Streaming's fun, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! They give up. Can we win a tournament? Can we finish a stream by winning the tournament with Gardevoir? Um, now, the problem is... Okay, we're straight away. I need a quick win here because my wife is going to be due home from work at any moment, ladies and gentlemen. And she's going to be expecting the stream to be finished. <laughs> Ah, uh, Lycan Rock. Lycan Rock. Uh, Lycan Rock Raichu is almost certainly going to be a feature of the stream on Thursday. Do remember, ladies and gentlemen, on Tuesday there's going to be a Mario Kart stream. The Mario Kart stream was a lot of fun on Tuesday. It was a huge amount of fun. So please come and join in for that. The numbers were a little bit lower, but. Seriously, come join. Come join the Mario Kart stream on Tuesday. It is amazing. Oh, please don't be. Actually, to be honest, if this is Quad Warp, this is a pretty good start. Um, it's not Quad Warp. It looks... Now, there's a How in here. and Okay, so it may be Mega Mewtwo. I mean, if this is Mega Mewtwo, this is going to be hilarious. Because there are very few decks. That have a better matchup against Mega Mewtwo than Mega Gardevoir. Mega Gardevoir, firstly... Uh, no, the shrine of the shrine of memory. Yeah, that. Oh, it's Mega Mewtwo! <laughs> oh my goodness! I mean, this should be kind of hilarious. Uh, now I'm getting obviously I'm getting a couple of mulligans here, which is going to be sweet. But all I'm really going to do is just I'm going to Ultra Ball for a Hooper. There's me Skyfield. There's me Oracorio. Um, okay. So all we need here is a couple of Gardevoir, and we're fine. Now, I know he's got a Trubbish there, but Trubbish doesn't really worry me too much. Uh, might as well get a Skyfield down, just so we can get Pokemon on the bench. Let's use an Ultra Ball, and we're not really going to need Skyfield, so we can afford to drop a Skyfield. And, ooh, ooh I don't really want to get rid of any of these. We can afford to get rid of an Oracorio as well. Now, we're going to grab ourselves, assuming they're not both prized, which they are not. We're going to grab ourselves a Hooper. Yeah, sorry about that, your pal Wyatt. The Bulu, the Bulu with a, I mean, to be honest, Bulu either with two Lurantis, the non-GX, or with a choice band gets a one-hit KO on Gardevoir. 
So B Bulu worries me with this deck. It can hit 210. I get a little bit of blowback on my YouTube videos at the moment because people, I mean, then they've got a point. You know, they let me know that you don't always need to mention Choice Band and um, Professor Kakui because we know about them. But the thing is, they're such big things nowadays in pretty much every deck that you do need to be aware of them. Okay. So, oh, this is messy, ladies and gentlemen. This is really messy. But we do want to... Okay, this is a very messy start, and it does mean we're using um we're using more item cards than we would usually like. But we need to try and get a lot of these things out. Now I want to save that to get an energy for next turn. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna leave it. And if my opponent ends me, brilliant. If my opponent doesn't end me, I should be able to get set up next turn and start taking start taking some prizes. Making a custom Wassy G. Who's playing? Cr oh my! Who's playing Crushing Hammer? <laughs> That's amazing! Oh my goodness! That's so good. Now I need um, I need a Mega Turbo next turn as well. So I am going to be needing a very aggressive turn, ladies and gentlemen. To be honest, the reason I do mention, to finish the thought, the reason I mention Choice Band and Kakui so often is because it's genuinely important. It's really, really crucial to when you're thinking about when you're thinking about how to hit the numbers, it's something you just need to be thinking about. So unfortunately, it's absolutely crucial. So I need to get that trubbish, because even if he's not playing a trash Valanche Trubbish, yeah. I thought there might be an end, which is why I didn't go nuts. But as it is, I'm drawing six cards. I've got so many consistency outs in my deck. And there we go. Shaman, Energy, Hooper. Sycamore, we've we've got plenty, ladies and gentlemen. I do want a spirit link. I'm going to be perfectly honest. A spirit link would be lovely because then I can hoop up for the mega as well. Yeah, there's a nest ball. I mean, if he's if he's going pretty hard with Mewtwo, it's going to be a. I'm going to be getting some very quick KOs here. Now, I don't want him to get that Garbodor on because you've seen how many abilities I use in my deck, and there is a possibility here that he gets a Garbodor this turn. Uh, no, it's not because it's his turn one. Next turn, he could get a Garbodor. I don't want. He's got a Trubbish on the bench, but remember, it doesn't really matter. Don't be a spirit link. Don't be a spirit link. Eh, I can live with that. Um, okay. Now, what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to Skylar for a spirit link. Um, oh, yeah. I've only got one Mega Turbo in deck. Oh, apparently, I've only got one spirit link in deck as well. Have I got three spirit links prized? Apparently, I do. So... Now here we can start going, but we're going to need to draw our only Spirit Link and we've already used our Supporter for the turn. I'm not loving our chances of doing it, but it can be done. So let's get a Shame in, let's get a regular, let's get a Mega. So now we can start getting set up. And to be perfectly honest here, ladies and gentlemen, as long as we get a couple of Mega Gardevoirs out, we're going to be just fine. Although I'm going to need to start drawing some Spirit Links off my prizes. So, can we draw Mega Turbo for the KO? That's going to be crucial. Okay, didn't love my chances of doing it. <laughs> is it worth playing Shaman for one? Yeah, because I'm playing four Shaman anyway. Let's Shaman for one card. Is it a Mega Turbo for the KO? I've only got one in my deck. I shouldn't hit it, but come on. Arceus. Ah, Kakui. All right. Rubbish. Now, if my opponent's playing Trash Phalanche Garbodor, I've still only played two item cards. So, he's only going to be hitting for 70. I can live with that. Now, of course, he's going to try and bring up his Mega Mewtwo and get a big KO with that. But I'm not terribly worried, to be perfectly honest. Because he's probably not getting his Trubbish out of the active. And I might just want to be starting to Lysander next turn anyway. So, there's the Spirit Link. If that... Ah, oh, it's a Trash Phalanche Garbodor. Sweet. I don't, I don't care about that. I might even just Lysander and KO his Mewtwo. 
is Mega Mewtwo. Because that would be pretty sweet. That would be awesome. And I'm, I'm not worried about the Garbodor here. So I might... Yeah. If he's only doing 70 damage, I'm not taking that seriously. And I've actually... Yeah, I've got my... I've just actually drawn into my Lysander here. So... Yeah, because I'm worried about... That Mega Mewtwo now can do enough to get the KO on me. And I'm worried about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just Despair Ray. And even though we're hitting for weakness, let's get rid of a Hooper and a Shaman. And that's all we're going to get rid of here. I mean, we're hitting for more than enough damage. Well, I mean, to be honest, I didn't need the top deck Lysander because I had Tapu Lele that I was going to use to search for a Lysander. And there's my Spirit Link. So, to be perfectly honest, if my opponent could just go one turn without ending me, I've pretty much won the game. Because all I'm going to do is I'm going to go Spirit Link, Ultra Ball for a Mega, Mega Evolve the one on the bench while attaching an Energy, and at some point I'm going to draw into my Mega Turbo, or I'm going to draw it off the prizes, and then we're just feeling really good about ourselves. Um, now, there is... How many items have I played? I've only played two items. Okay, so what Pokemon do I not want? Ooh! I'm not going to be able to bench a... I don't even need to bench a Pokemon next turn. Um, let's get rid of Hooper, because it's got a retreat cost of two, and it's weak. Wait, is he? <laughs> That's a parallel city! <laughs> uh, I don't particularly mind. I don't need... I really don't. Uh, I really don't need Skyfield this game, but it's still a little bit upsetting. It's just mean, to be perfectly honest. But I can live with that. Acid spray, and he hits the tails, which is good because I kind of need to preserve my energy. Here we go. Let's play Skyfield, and at this stage, we should just be a turn or two away from winning the game. So, let's go Spirit Link. Let's go Energy. Ugh. Let's get rid of both of those and grab myself a Mega. Probably could have just used Rescue Stretcher for the Mega, but I kind of like the Rescue Stretcher. Um, now, to be honest, I'd love a Switch Mega Turbo here. So, let's go now use the Rescue Stretcher, grab a Pokemon from my discard pile... Let's just grab a Shaman, and then we can draw a whole bunch of cards. Hello, Super Cuddle Bear! Which is a weird thing for a 31-year-old man to say. But I'm okay with this. So, I really want to try and end this game quickly. We don't have the... Alright, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, Alright. Let's just grab a Mallow. And then we're going to... And I know we're playing item cards here. It sucks, but it's got to be done. We're going to switch to that. We're then going to play a Mallow. And what we really want is my Mega Turbo. To be honest, it's the only card I really do want here. Um, but let's grab a Brock's Grit as well, just for next turn. Then we can play the shame in to draw into all of those. Should have mallowed. I did mallow. Because now I've not got anything too dangerous in the active. Now we can mega turbo onto the active Gardevoir. And at this stage, we're starting to feel very good about ourselves. Now we can just go ahead, use Despair Ray, get rid of those two shame in, just because I don't really want them on my bench anymore. Hello, Claudio Dalama. Now we hit for 260 and we win. Well, we don't win, but we're down to three prizes. And at this stage... With... Oh, there's my other Mega Turbo! Turn too late, because I don't actually have a Mega right now. But that's alright, we can maybe use a Mallow trick or something. That could be quite fun. So, got more followers. Z3 Nif 97 
Okay, there's my Mega, but we don't have a Spirit Link at the moment. I have a good deck. I think that means he doesn't have another Basic, and that means we can win next turn. And, yeah, that will be the game. That'll be the tournament, in fact. I like getting free booster packs. There's the Parallel City. I knew he might Parallel City, which is why I got rid of the Shamans proactively. Um, there's an Energy... He can use Stomp Off, but I can then just use Despair Ray to win the game. Let's not even bother playing any other cards. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the tournament. So, we actually finished on a five, I think it was a five game win streak with Gardevoir there. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching live PTCG Radio. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Mega Gardevoir. I hope you had fun. Needless to say, the usual rules apply. Post anything you want in the comments. Go nuts. Be nice. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Warsi and Twitch at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. So next time you can join in the fun live. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. The most important thing is always look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.